this video, we have a huge announcement, a face reveal. Finally answer the question, is Nate wants to battle retiring from YouTube? Stick around and wait till the end of the video, cause you're not gonna wanna miss this. Anyway, these YouTube retirement videos tend to have a lot of outreach. So a quick introduction for people who don't know who I am. Hi, I'm Nathan Sharp, also known as Nate Wants to Battle. I am a singer, songwriter, YouTuber, musician. I've done official work for shows like Dragon Ball Super, Beyblade Burst, Sonic Frontiers, a whole bunch of stuff. I got my start posting music on YouTube, specifically music like Sonic covers, songs about Five Nights at Freddy's, which is kind of the big thing, original songs, anime covers, a whole slew of music music that revolves mostly around nerd culture. I've been on this platform for over 10 years now and have worked on over 300 songs in total. I've gotten to collaborate and work with people that I'm big fans of in the YouTube space and more or less this has been my full-time job for a decade. I put full-time job in quotes because it's been much kinder and much more lucrative than uh, any other job I'm probably qualified for. By the way, I'm, I'm gonna be looking at this. I have a script here. Just want this video to be like concise and coherent. I might record another off the cuff, unscripted longer video, which if I do, it'll be down in the descriptions. Who knows how that'll be. So while this has been a massive and incredible part of my life, and I'd say most of the aspects of this have been a positive experience, uh, I have also been pretty open and pretty vocal about its downsides, as a lot of other content creators are. There's burnout, algorithm changes, losing passion, and one of the things that weighed heaviest on me was the fear that all of this can be taken away in an instant. The internet is an ever-changing and very unstable place. You've got algorithm changes, internet harassment, hackers posing as video sponsors, convincing your brand agency who doesn't properly vet their sponsorship inquiries to get you to install malware on your PC, resulting in your channel getting hacked and then deleted for weeks, resulting in thousands of dollars in ad revenue, as well as your bank accounts getting hacked, resulting in tens of thousands of dollars disappearing. It can be scary. <sighs> I don't think I'll ever not be salty about that. And, uh, in full honesty, I've wanted out of this space, this pressure for a really long time now. You can ask anybody that I work with or talk to. Yeah, I, I've been wanting to get out. A lot of you might know that I announced kind of a soft retirement video a couple of years ago where basically I said I'm not going to be doing fandom or nerd music anymore and I'm just taking a huge step back. But, um... Even after posting that, I still didn't feel like I truly had distance from having to do this, needing to upload something, always having to post, always having to create because of the fear of this being taken away, falling behind, falling out of relevancy. So then what's what's the point of this video? Probably commenting now, you've already kind of said this, you've done this before. Why is anything changed? Why should we think anything's different? Um, well, that's the biggest announcement in that I sold my catalog. <laughs> that is crazy to say. The details of a musician selling their catalog has a lot of like asterisks and caveats and a bunch of stuff that's honestly kind of boring. More or less, I sold off this job if you want to look at it like that. So again, I'll probably have a video down in the description that'll be a lot longer and have a lot more details of it. But the short version is I sold most of my music. I sold the revenue for about 95%, we'll say, of Nate Wants to Battle on Spotify, Apple Music, wherever you stream music, wherever you most likely listen to music. Uh, yeah, that's, that's, yeah, I sold that. I have been talking to various buyers throughout, I'd say the past year, and I finally landed on a deal that everyone's pretty happy with. And I think that is the big difference. That is the outstanding thing that will give me that distance, that big step needed to more or less, I guess, close out this chapter. And with selling the catalog, I feel free, <laughs> free from algorithms, uh, from the internet. Uh, if a huge change happens to a platform, it's not my problem, you know? I cashed the check. I won, dude. I'm out. So all of those fears, all of those things that weighed on my mind, succumbing to negative comments and just, you know, disappearing, fading into obscurity, algorithm changes, screwing over everything. Um, no, I get to make that call. And I made the call on my own terms. And 
Holy shit, dude, that feels amazing to say. Yeah, so retirement, uh, what's that look like since I haven't totally answered that? So bands, artists, what have you, uh, a lot of them more or less go on hiatuses. You know, my com- that <laughs> My comical romance. Okay. MCR did it, Fall Out Boy did it, and it's the first time since starting this job where I truly feel like I don't need to make music. So with that said, you know, Nate wants to battle the band or the artist, whatever you want to call it. We're on hiatus. And for all I know, this could be like a month, two months, years, one year, couple weeks. I don't know. What I'm truly retiring from is the mindset of needing to create because I have to, not because I want to. If I want to create, I will. And if I don't, and I won't, you know, I've had so many other fun projects and cool ideas that uh, I just, I, re I really think deserve to see the light of day, but I can never truly dedicate myself. I can never actually throw myself into them because no matter what, after X amount of time, whether it's like a couple days or a couple weeks of diving into a different project, I would always just get like reeled back in be like, all right, you had your fun out there, but we're going to. We're going to pull that line back because you're tethered to Nate Wants to Battle. You got to do something with that. So come on back. Get back to the real job. I started working and designing uh, video games. I have a cool idea for a world that could be like a graphic novel or like a D&D &D module or I I don't know, like something like stuff like that. I, I love Pokemon cards. My wife and I actually want to open like a brick and mortar card shop and with this space, with this disconnect, with the ability to just not have to worry so much about what my next upload is going to be, I have the, the, the bandwidth, the space, the freedom. I have the control. I have control. And I've like never felt that before. So all these projects that I've worked on like here and there throughout the years that have just been sitting on this shelf, I can now throw myself into this shelf. I'm going to throw myself at a shelf. Now, what does this mean for you, uh, a viewer, a listener, someone who enjoys my music, whether you've been listening to it for a decade or maybe even a couple weeks? Uh, kind of nothing, honestly. It's all still there. It's all still on Spotify. It's all still on Apple Music. Wherever you listen to music, it's still there. But aside from that, uh, there's not a ton to say. If you want to keep up with what I've been doing, I've been going hard on the cards. Uh, so if you're into Pokemon TCG and want to see my antics with that, uh, go check out CNG cards on YouTube or whatever socials. It's funny that I'm saying I'm like retiring from YouTube and content creation and being stuck in algorithms and with the cards i've actually been posting kind of more than ever thank you guys so much for watching thanks for listening thanks for all of the amazing things that have happened because of all of this chaos thanks for supporting being able to uh i don't know <laughs> uh yeah oh i stream a lot too go check it out somewhere uh, have a day.